Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. It's Scott here from the Ilkley Osteopathic Practice. Today we're going to talk briefly about using cold and heat in trying to recover from an injury. So we're going to take the example of a runner and they sprayed their ankle or sprained their knee. Hot and cold can play a really vital role in healing this and it's a question that I'm asked a lot in clinic. So to clarify, first three days I would use cold. The reason being Inflammation is normally at its peak within the first three days and cold helps to reduce that. It stops the joints getting really stiff so you can't walk on them and also reduces that pain as well. So cold in the first three days, really good. Following that, the first, sort of three days onwards, I would probably introduce a little bit of heat because as the inflammation starts to settle down, this is when the actual tissue healing starts to really occur and a bit of extra heat will bring blood flow to the area and will just help back up that, that process. It will bring nutrients to the area and it will just promote that healing process. So kind of in short, cold in the first three days helps just to reduce that swelling so you can walk on it easier, joints get less stiff. And then heat, after the first three days, you want to promote that blood flow into that area there because that will bring with it the nutrients that actually will really heal the body. So... The other thing I would also try and reinforce is try and keep walking or at least keep active. Whatever sport you are doing, if it is running, try and replicate that as soon as you can. So going out and doing a PB run is not going to be a good idea on a sore knee. However, do keep active, keep on your feet, keep walking, a bit of a jog, and then just build that up as your body feels capable. But essentially, cold, first three days, and then heat afterwards. I hope that was useful.